everybody, Daily here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of The Amazing Shinsengumi Heroes in Love. We are just starting on Heisuke Toto's route. Chapter 1, Be by My Side and Smell for Me. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Everyone was so kind, but I was worried I would be a burden to them. Then again, it was true I didn't have anywhere to stay the night. I was contemplating who I should stay with, but I suddenly remembered someone's bright smile. He had a friendly smile and was very outgoing, and that's what I shall base my decision on. I was sure he was the type that could tell me directly if he didn't like me. Then, can I stay with Heisuke? Heisuke? Toshizo wanted to make sure he heard me correctly. Yeah, as long as he's okay with it, that is. Heisuke, huh? Toshizo folded his arms and was deep in thought. He might cause you trouble. He might be a handful, but... I'll leave it up to you. He's a handful? He's a good guy and a superb swordsman. It's just his personality that's a little bit of a problem. Oh. Well, he's a good guy deep down. He won't cause you any problems, I hope. I would have thought that he would be giving me the warning for Sanosuke, not Heisuke. He might be the right guy for you. He's very emotional. I was relieved after hearing Isami's words. Okay, got it. I nodded and Toshizo finally looked relieved. I'm sure he'd feel comfortable with someone like you by his side. Alright. You're a good kid. Take care of Heisuke. No, I'm the one he's being taken care of. Thank you so much. I bowed my head and it felt like Isami let out a faint laugh. Heisuke, come over here. Heisuke was observing where the fire had happened. When he heard his name, he looked up. Okie dokie, what's up? He dogged over toward us. He had a big smile on his face. It made me feel warm inside. You know that her house got burned down, right? Yep, the one that got burned down right now, right? Yeah, in other words, she has nowhere to go. That's where you come in. I want her to stay with you at the Shinsengumi base. With me? Heisuke was confused and looked at me. He then circled around me. What? <laughs> did, did I do something? Hmm... <clears throat> Heisuke stopped in front of me. Chizuru, you're a real cutie after all. He started hugging me all of a sudden. Yeah. <laughs> it happened so suddenly, I frantically shouted. Your squealing is really cute too. Yep, cute, cute, cute. Heisuke. Toshizo said Heisuke's name in a low voice. What's up? She obviously doesn't like what you're doing. Let go of her. <laughs> Heisuke sounded reluctant, but he let go of me. Thank goodness, I'm saved. Are you really coming to my place? I'll do my greatest. No, I'm the one who's going to be relying on you, so... I'll give it my all. I'm in your hands. You don't have to be so uptight about it. I'm super happy that you're going to be staying at my place. That being said, I want you to relax as much as possible. Thanks. But I want to help out if I can. Then be by my side and smile for me. What? I get super happy when someone smiles at me. I'll make you smile and be happy, so can you make me happy too? S sure, if I just need to smile. Really? Yippee! You really are a cutie pie. Heisuke started staring at me with all his might. <laughs> I became embarrassed. It has one really powerful stare. Heisuke, calm down a little. I am calm. You really are cute. Heisuke smiled at me. I started to understand what Toshizo meant before. Heisuke, what are you doing? Shinpachi walked toward us. He had been inspecting the remnants of the fire. <laughs> Chizuru is coming to stay at my place starting today. Heisuke boasted to Shinpachi. Huh? My house burned down, so I'll be staying at the base for some time. I know it might be a burden, but I'm in your hands. Chizuru is going to stay at my place. Oh, is that so? It looked like Shinpachi was talking to a child. I see. Heisuke, come over here for a minute. Okay. Heisuke stumbled over to Isami. Shinpachi opened his mouth slowly. Oh, are you really okay with going to Heisuke's place? Yeah. He's a good guy, but his personality. I was worried he might be too much for you. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Heisuke doesn't mean any harm. 
Yeah, he's not a bad guy. Sometimes he can be too innocent, though. That's why I was worried he might give you trouble. I'll be fine, really. But thanks for worrying about me. I nodded, and Shibachi finally smiled. I'm back. I've got a message from Captain Kondo. Heisuke came trotting back. He asked Chizuru to do the cooking, cleaning, and the laundry. So, she's going to be your maid, isn't she? Well, yeah, but I'm not going to treat her like one. Heisuke started to pout. Chizuru is our very, very important guest. No, it's okay. I am borrowing a room, so please let me do my part. What? You can just do it from time to time. You don't have to do it. That'll be tough for her. Just let her do it. Gee, Shinpachi, we don't need your opinion. Heisuke sighed. Okay, fine. Do whatever makes you happy, Chizuru. Thanks, I will. Now that that's settled, let's go home. Heisuke boldly clapped his hands together. Heisuke failed his attempt to go home, and Shinpachi pulled him back. Come on, we still have work to do. What? You can do it for the both of us. Your troops are waiting for your orders. Finish what you have to do before you go home. You're so hard-headed. I guess I have no choice. Sorry, Chizuru. Can you wait for a little bit? Sure. Do your work properly, okay? Heisuke's expression changed after he saw me smiling. Okie dokie. I'll work really hard because you told me to, Chizuru. Heisuke followed Shinpachi back to where the fire happened. Shinpachi's eyes met mine, and we smiled. My house was the only building that burned down, but the fire still caused a lot of damage. There were no traces left from the fire, so I knew I wasn't to blame for it. Then again, the sparks burned and made holes in the neighbors' houses. Some houses even got flooded. I knew it was natural for the neighborhood to share their pain, but I felt responsible. That was another reason why I was glad I was staying with the Shinsengumi. Like I said, the fire didn't start here. But it's true the fire came out from here, right? Yep, it looks like they're mad. I felt depressed. I thought it might be best if I went and apologized. I walked toward Heisuke. Stay here. Soji told me forcefully. But... If you show up, everything will just get worse. Leave this one to Heisuke. Or don't you trust that Heisuke can handle it? I trust him. I trust him. Even though I don't know him at all. We always make decisions so early in this game. I thought I saw Soji laugh. You're an interesting one, aren't you? You trust us. We're called the Ragged Wolves, you know. I think you're people worthy of my trust. Well, that's true. Heisuke is worthy of your trust. Soji stood next to me. Just watch him. Let's see how Heisuke can solve this one. We watched over Heisuke from afar. It's true. The fire came out of here. However, that isn't how a fire works. It's also true you were unlucky the firefighters didn't show up sooner. But there were a lot of people who helped put out the fire. If a fire breaks out, it's everyone's responsibility to stop it, right? I don't think it's right to evade responsibility and blame it on others. Tch. If we hadn't come, the fire would have spread, right? Damn you, you ragged wolves. The people who complained were annoyed. They said their foul remarks and left. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Heisuke smiled and waved at them. He then went back to work. Well, that's the type of guy he is. Soji spoke to me. Believe in him and help him out, okay? I'd leave Heisuke to you. I will. I nodded to Soji. Sorry for making you wait. The sun was setting as Heisuke ran back toward us. It's okay. Is your work all done? Yep. Thanks for waiting, Chizuru. Oh yeah. All of a sudden, Heisuke took off his pale blue jacket and put it around my shoulders. You must have been freezing. Hey, his outfit's pretty cool without the jacket. I mean, it was pretty cool with it too, but... Thanks for hanging in there. After he said that, I realized my kimono was soaking wet with a few burns here and there. I didn't notice because I was so nervous and up and about. My body was turning blue. Take a bath once you get home, okay? Take it easy for the rest of today. Isn't today over? I mean, it's night. After hearing those words, it really hit me that my house had just burned down. The dishes and clothes I used every day, not to mention my money, were all gone. I lost everything. I felt hopeless, and everything started to blur. Chizuru, don't cry. It's okay. We're with you now. Heisuke started to hug me. Achoo! I let out a sneeze because of the cold. 
Heisuke was puzzled as he looked at me, but he ended up hugging me anyway. Even your sneezes are cute, Chizuru. Um, that's... Everyone else had already left. Heisuke seemed troubled as he held me like a child. What's going to happen from now on? From here on out, I would be staying with the Shinsengumi. <laughs> well, this is going to be cute, isn't it? Chapter 2 is, I'm amazing, aren't I? Apparently, he has no self-esteem issues either. Or is it me doing the bragging? No, I'm sure it's not me. Not little Chizuru. Well, I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.